going on guys? Hey, I just want to show you something. I scored something pretty good. Scored a load of firewood. I've been working on this already now for about an hour, hour and a half. I just now remember to take a picture of it, but it was stacked up. They had stacked up, up and around like a mountain all the way around. This is the only big piece I've got to cut. It's all oak. Mud flaps are dragging. They were dragging. When these things drag, there is over 2,300 pounds in the back of my truck. I used to scrap metal all the time. And uh, anything over 2,100, 2,300 pounds, uh, mud flaps are dragging. So it was full. I took a break by an hour, hour and a half inside. I wasn't feeling good, got real hot. It's probably somewhere in the high 90s. And here's the log splitter. You've seen me use that before. There is the log splitter. Been getting after it. Put a new motor on it this year. The other one blew up. No, it didn't blow up. You couldn't. Uh, you can't, can't. Could not get a carburetor for it. So look how short those mud flaps are. It shows you how uh, how much weight I have literally carried in this thing, scrap metal in. But it was full, and it were dragging today when I picked this all up. So that was a good haul. All right, I need to get this all emptied out. I gotta get my truck to my son's work tomorrow. Um, we're gonna, that transmission's still leaking. I um, did those three plugs I talked to you about before. And um, it has slowed down, but it's not, that's not the cure. Um, I mean, before I could probably get maybe like a orange juice worth, cup worth of oil laying on the ground. And now it's, you know, it's like a small little cup full. So it's still doing it, but it's not cured. So tomorrow we're going to drop the transmission back side down and take the tail shaft off. And we're going to um, reseal it, put it back together. And hopefully that'll be done with that, fix that leak. All right, well, I'm going to get going here and get this wood split. All right, this is my, what I've got for firewood so far for the year. I've got... This here, all that. I go around this backside. Last year I ran out and I had to buying some. I ended up spending a few hundred dollars on firewood. Uh, I ain't gonna do it this year. It ain't happening. Here's the backside here. Oh, there's Happy. Looks like she's down there found her something to eat. Anyway, here's the firewood. The backside. I still need to get another truckload to be great. Uh, this isn't the only spot I have firewood. I have some more firewood up by where my log splitter is. I probably have about, uh, that's probably about two weeks worth up there at the other, by the house. This here is probably, uh, it could be a month, maybe. Um, it just depends on how, hot, uh, how cold it's going to be. Because uh, I really don't use the heater in the house. I use the uh, fireplace, and then when that thing gets going, I mean, it gets hotter and crap in there. I mean, there's one year I had to open the windows and the doors because it got too hot. I, I was the first year I didn't know how to turn the thing down. It was going with that blower and all that. Anyway, that's what we've got for firewood right now. All back there ain't that woodshed. We're aiming to get some more. All right, see you later.